finally for the case of 4 byte data size temp val similar to above but this time as an unsigned int pointer the appropriate offset in temp buff so now based on the data size we've set temp val to the appropriate value uh, from the bytes in temp buff so now we can perform the comparison and the comparison is determined by what was supplied in the condition so the only one we'll worry about so far is condition equals in the case of condition equals we set the it is match value based on whether temp val equals val remember we added as a parameter to this function val so if you pass in uh, the condition equals and a particular value it will assign is match based on whether those two values are equal and there's no default case so after we've performed the appropriate search we check the is match variable if we got a match then we just need to increment the number of matches found in this block and if we didn't get a match we use the other macro remove from search this will clear the corresponding flag so again it's MB and as above the overall offset is the t total red plus our current offset for this temporary block one other thing we can do is break out if we don't have any matches at the start because there's no point reading every temporary buffer and doing a search if we already know there's no matches to start with so we can encapsulate this whole block of code in another if statement which just says only bother doing all this if we have some matches so that's everything there so now the entire block of code will only occur if there's some matches to start with otherwise it will just return immediately let's get rid of that line there okay so that's the search implemented for an individual mem block uh, we just need to copy the extra parameters into update scan now and pass them on accordingly like that and just to allow it to compile we'll just put in uh, the unconditional case and in the unconditional case this file is meaningless so we'll just pass zero let's check it still compiles at this point um, so that's ok and remember we ran it with the PID for notepad so let's make sure that still seems to be working as it was cancel that okay let's put some code in that will allow us to test the equals condition so we'll make a new helper function called print matches this will simply dump out all the matches from a linked list of memory blocks so we need an offset variable and a local pointer For each block, we'll loop through with the offset variable. And 
as before we add on the data size each time to the offset and we can use our trusty is in search macro and if it is we'll just print out the address and the address will print out um, is the current offset for this memory block plus the base address that we found with our original virtual query so it's memory address plus offset so save that that should be an X there and we'll also make a function to just get the total number of matches for an entire linked list of memory blocks so again get a local pointer and our total count so far which starts as zero and then iterate through the linked list and just accumulate the count each time round from the number of matches and return the overall count at the end. So now we have some method of testing what we've searched. Let's implement a simple search. So we'll start with uh, let's say searching for all values equal to a thousand. Let's get rid of that. So we'll print the matches. And then we'll update the scan. to search for all those values that were a thousand that have now changed to two thousand and we'll print those so let's just put a bit of extra debug and here we'll just do a quick prompt for a key so that we can pause and change the program we're looking at. So something very hacky like that. So now we'll create a scan, do the initial update for values that are equal to a thousand, pause at this point and wait for a key press, and then refine the search to find all those that have changed to two thousand and print those out. So let's compile and test this with the notepad process now. That was OK. And the process ID was 4272. So there, it's searching for a thousand and it's printed out some addresses where it's found a thousand. It's now waiting for me to press a key. And it's searched, tried to search for two thousand and hasn't found any which is reasonable enough because it's unlikely that the notepad process would happen to have a value of a thousand that just changed to two thousand as we were wanting it. 